I'm sorry, kitten. Kitten! Kitten! Oh! Oh! <sighs> Greetings, friends. Brandar has returned from the void. The void was a bit uh, deeper and blacker uh, these past few days than usual. Me and the fighters had been sharing in a bit of a skooma binge, which uh, was enjoyable. It really deepens the states of my euphoria and my lethargy. Oh, please, no more talking. Plus the voices in my head, oh, it's just too much. Yes, I hold your own too, haha, <laughs> Kitten. Oh, after a few days of skooma binging, I don't feel as sociable as I should. It brings up states of euphoria and lethargy, and those are basically my default modes anyways, so it just sort of deepens my euphoria and lethargy. Still an enjoyable thing, but tonight I don't think is the night for all of that. I want to go out onto the, onto the town. I want to play my music for the people. I want to be amongst the crowd, as it were. I want to, I want to also tell you about my, my background, just a little bit. A lot of people don't know much about Kajit culture. And that is for good reason. We uh, don't allow outsiders to know much of our lore. But uh, one of the reasons I like being outside so much is the phases of the moon. When a Khajiit is born, the phase of the moon decides what the Khajiit will look like in its final stages of life. We are all, all born as tiny kittens, adorable, fluffy, eyes and ears closed to the world, but slowly they open. Some Khajiits will never get past this tiny cat form, and they are known as Elfiks. In war they can be the perfect spies and infiltrators, which makes the Khajiit one of the most feared forces. Aside from perhaps the Altmer, who do have their own fair share of tricks with the diversity of races that they have in their army. But the Khajiit are a diverse race. Apart from Alfix, we also have Kathes, and that is what your friend Brandar is. We are the fighters, the humanoids of the Khajiit army. Most of what people think of when they think of a Khajiit is actually a Cathay Khajiit. Finally, we have Senches, which uh, are giant cats. They can be ridden into battle, used as beasts of burden, but they are also just as intelligent as the Alfix and Cathays. The main leads all of the different kinds of Khajiit as a sort of spiritual leader. I've talked briefly about the main before. Ah. <laughs> One thing that I did not mention is that the, the main cannot be killed by piercing it with a sword. His own hair is combined with that of his tribe members to become so thick that it cannot be pierced. If you wish to kill a main, you must use magic or poison. But most mains are bright enough to take countermeasures to such things. So it is a difficult thing, quite the undertaking. Let us sit, friend, until morning and discuss who is better, Altmer or Khajiit. You tell me. Ah, the sun. I'm certainly glad you saw it my way, my way friend. The diversity of one race can be uh, quite a thing to overcome. Now I think it is time for us to uh, continue Caius's quest. Yes, we must go to Vivek and speak with a Thieves Guild operative in Argonian in the Foreign Quarter. And, uh, let's see, Temple Priestess in the Hall of Wisdom. Okay, I think we should show up at the Foreign Quarter. 
Greetings, friends. Would you please take me to Vivek? Most kind. 17 gold. Quite a deal. Yes. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. The rain. Ah, ah. I don't like it. Ah. Why this? Why this? Oh, who would know? Who would know that it was going to be rain? I had ducked down inside the compartment and I did not hear the pitter patter. Oh, ah. There's a, a bit of shelter here. Ah. Am I in the foreign quarter? Kitten? Pardon me, Kitten? Oh, you're a man. I'm, I apologize. The elves do look so feminine. Uh, Arena Halalu Telvani. I think we are in the foreign quarter, as it is not an option. So let's see. In Argonian at the Black Shulk Corner Club. Black Shulk Corner Club. At least I have a name. And a nice new wet city to despise. <laughs> uh, I do hope it stops raining soon. I cannot participate in this for much longer. Uh, tidings to you, creepy mask man. Oi, hey. Hello to you. Not Argonians. I need nothing. Upper waist works. Perhaps you can tell me where I might find Hulia, hmm? Hulia, the Argonian Morag Tong? Not many Argonians, Morag Tong. I'd look for him at the Black Shell Corner Club in the Lower Waste Works of the Foreign Quarter. Or at Joe Bosch's books on the same level of the Lower Waste Works of the Black Shell Corner Club. I hate... Thank you, Saren. Lower Waste Works. Are we in the Lower Waste Works? I'm quite lost. Canal Works. Hmm. Are there no directions here? It's quite difficult to tell which direction one is going. I must presume this is the lower waist works. Oh, hello, kitten. Those eyes, my goodness. I am entranced. Could I, could I play a song for you? Would you enjoy that? I come from far to tell you you are the brightest star in my heart. Sevigny, Sevigny, those eyes have entranced me. Sir, sir, I'm trying to serenade the lady. Leave me alone. I'm sorry, kitten. Kitten, kitten. Ow, oh! ow. Oh! <sighs> Fine. No, I'm not interested in you either. It's over. We're breaking up now. <laughs> Corner Club. Is this it? Nope. Apothecary. I should still like to have a look inside. Ooh, much paper. Script jellies. Trap chest. I'm not sure what I need, kitten. The company of a, a scale skin that I can't seem to find. Oh, Arain Furnace's recipes. Interesting. A potion to cure common diseases is another frequent request. These are quite simple to make here in Vardenfell and often cheaper as grave dust is more plentiful and better preserved by these fastidious dunma. Mix equal parts grave dust and green lichens. Heat over a low flame until the mixture turns brown. Danger skin can be just as effective but very expensive. Chokeweed can be used in an emergency. Research notes on curing blight diseases. So far the only mixture I've found to be even partially effective is scrib jelly and ash salts. These ingredients are not too hard to find but the ratio needs some adjustment and the potion is not fully effective. Interesting. Can learn a lot by lurking these apoth apothecaries. Oh, an alchemist? My goodness. So many different different jobs here. Perhaps you have a, a nice restore health potion for me, hmm? Hmm, kitten? Might you? Seems not. I do like invisibility. That will find some use. Oh. Skuma. I take. I want it. I want it a lot. I'll give you some diamonds, emeralds, rubies. That's a fair price, is it not, kitten? 
my pockets are a little bit lighter after my skooma binge. But uh, I think it is worth it. Oh, Jobasha's rare books. We are quite on the tail of this Dunmer. Aha, <laughs> this scale skin. I see so many Dunmer that I uh, have that as the default response in my head. What? What is this? Oh my goodness. The House of Troubles. Lives of Saints. Legions of the Dead. Ooh. Undead commonly occur in three basic types. Spirit, Flesh, and Fleshless. Spirit revenant, Revenants are like the Ancestor Ghost. Wraith and Dwarven Ghosts can only be harmed by weapons that are enchanted or made of refined substances, such as silver. Ancestor Ghosts, the most common Spirit Revenant, are harmless apart from the minor curses they lay upon their victims. Wraiths are similar to Ghosts, but they are capable of inflicting wounds to the careless explorer. Dwarven Ghosts are more dangerous still, and they generally only appear in Dwarven Ruins. Flesh Revenants, or Zombies, as they are often called in the West, are known as Bonewalkers in Morrowind. Magic preserves the Bonewalkers' fleshy remains along with the bones and spirit. Bonewalkers are readily identified by the sharp protuberances of bone and metal employed in the ritual that bind them to this plane. All Bonewalkers are malevolent and dangerous, but the greater Bonewalkers are far worse than the more common lesser Bonewalkers. Thankfully, normal weapons harm Bonewalkers. It is difficult to generalize about fleshless revenants or skeletons. The agility and fighting ability of the animated remains may depend on the abilities of the revenants' former life, and may therefore be weak or strong, or more or less capable with weapons and shields. Fortunately, enchanted weapons are not needed to destroy skeletons. An exception is the Bone Lord, a peculiar form of revenants that, that seems to derive its powers more from its spirit energies than from the substance of its skeletal remains. Bone Lords are very powerful and very dangerous. Normal weapons do not affect them. Vampires were believed extinct in Morrowind for centuries, Dunmer culture is a special hatred for vampires, and in earlier times the Ordinators and Boyan Armagers hunted them to extinction. In recent years, however, vampires have either begun to sneak into Morrowind, or long dormant ones have been awakened. Vampires vary in their substance and power according to their age and accumulated lore, but even the weakest vampire is immeasurably stronger than most other un undead. Note. Ash Vampires are not vampires, and are not undead. Ash Vampires are extremely dangerous, while their spirit and substance may indeed be preserved by some magical process. The Holy Warriors of the Tribunal Temple report that spell effects known to affect the undead have no effect on Ash Vampires. Ash Vampires. Interesting. This is not a term that I've heard before. I suppose it is a good thing that I, uh, peeked into this book. I have, uh, quite some questions about the undead. My views are just a little bit morbid, if you weren't able to tell. Ah, oh, medium armor. Yes, just by looking, I learn. I hear somebody walking around in here. Perhaps it is the scale skin? Hello? No. Could it be? You are just like me, Jobasha. What can Jobasha do for you? Lee is not here, Kajit. Look for him in the foreign quarter. Well, uh, I have been, indeed. Everybody seems to be reading this homilies of Blessed Alma Alexia. Hmm. Lots of interesting books. Lots of interesting chests. Ancestors and the Dunmer. Hmm. I do wish I had more time to waste just reading and improving my mind. Pardon me, Ordinator. Make way for the Ordinator! Hmm. So he is not here, it seems, at this time. Perhaps we should look for the corner club. Perhaps he is wetting his whistle somewhere. Hmm? One, two.